I'm here with Yuri Milner, the CEO of DST. Yuri uh, has become very well known over the last year in the United States after he invested in first Facebook and then Zynga, um, as well as some other. Hey, as well as some other, as well, some other startups. Uh, Yuri, you agreed to talk to me a little bit about some of the stuff you've been doing in the last year. How are you? You joined the conference so far. Yeah, it's great. This is my first time. So you invested in Facebook, and I think it was announced in May. Is that right? Yes. And that was a fairly unique deal structure in that you purchased uh, primary preferred stock at $10 billion valuation that was announced, and you invested a, another chunk of, of money at a, to buy common stock back from shareholders and others who held common stock at a, what was it, uh, $6.5 billion valuation, I believe, was announced, right? Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. So 65% valuation, do you, uh, something like that. Uh, you did something similar with Zynga, and I think at that point... It, we and others have now started to refer to these as DST deals, even ones where you're not invested in, where you come in, you invest primary dollars in preferred stock, and then you get your dollar cost average of the stock down low by buying uh, common stock off of the employees. Can you tell me a little bit about you know these deals right. and how you came up with it and how they've evolved? Well, basically, I believe that some of the top companies uh, are still early stage, like Facebook and 10 billion, surprisingly to me, is in sort of early stage investment. Yeah. And the reason I'm saying that is that, you know, having analyzed a number of tech IPOs, like in the last you know, 10 years, I kind of see that many companies, from my standpoint, go public too early. And then there is, on average, 25 to 30 times upside left in, in, in public markets. Yeah. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, some companies just don't have to go public that early, uh, driven by business logic. So my uh, thesis is basically that if you are only driven by liquidity concerns, when you go public, yeah. you don't have to. You can basically resort to pub, uh, to private sources to solve liquidity, issues. and you can release some of the pressure at the exactly. employee level. Yeah, exactly. So, and it, 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 it not always, you know, needs like thirty percent liquidity to release this pressure. But as it turns out, you know, like five to ten percent of the liquidity yep. uh, could be enough for these companies kind of to move forward a few years and still. You know, make IPO. Do you think at this point, 65% is about the right price for the common to, con to preferred ratio? I uh, or does it depend on the company or? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I think as time goes and as companies mature, the spread between uh, commons and preferreds uh, tends to narrow. Yeah. And that's why we uh, were sort of pretty much indifferent in what we, we've been investing in being preferred commons and all kinds of other instruments. Yep. But, um, you know, I think that in, in, in all these companies that are very successful and that, that are not really going bankrupt, I mean, it sort of really uh, does make a lot of difference. Which companies have you not invested in yet that you'd really like to uh, add to your... I said that... Uh, Investing in companies is, is becoming uh, the bling for new for Russian entrepreneurs, which is easy to say when the Russian entrepreneurs aren't sitting right in front of me. But are there any are there any startups that you'd really like to add to your collection? Well, uh, Yelp, for we, example, we, we tend to be sort of late stage investments. Although I think that you know yeah. some some companies at the billions of dollars valuation are still early stage. Uh, but I think our universe is something like 50 companies globally, not only in the U.S. How many of those are based in Russia? Uh, or the Eastern, sort of former Eastern Bloc? Probably, you know, less than five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and in some of them we're already invested. Yeah. Uh, but if you're talking globally, and that's sort of what I tend to do recently, is sort of really look globally. Um, I think, uh, you know, this is sort of the universe of, of companies that would be interested in that kind of the deals that we've been doing, you know, in 2009. Yeah. Do you think that investing in companies like Facebook and Zynga means that they're going to go later, go public later than they otherwise would have because they're releasing that, that pressure at the employee level? Well, I think so. Yeah. I mean, at, at some level, 
you know, the, the founders of, of these yeah. companies that sort of tend to be driving the development, uh, along with the management, they, uh, in many ways, uh, you know, their message to us was, was that they really need to focus on products yeah. uh, in their, you know, in a way that would allow them to drive value in the future. And uh, that's, you know, that type of deals, I think, allow them you know, some time to, uh, to do that before going public. Did you look at the Yelp deal that um, that is supposedly closing now? Is that a company you would have been interested in investing in, or have you invested in it? Uh, I can't really comment on that. <laughs> What about going forward for DST, uh, raising new capital? Are you raising that capital in Russia? Are you raising it in the United States? Are you becoming a... No, we, I, mean, I, I think for us the logical thing is to raise capital globally. Yeah. Because we, we, we view ourselves as global investors. So I think we need to really be very balanced on, on the asset side and on the liability side. And yeah. to have like a almost perfect match in terms of having global investors and you know global investments. Yeah. So who has more revenue today, Facebook or Zynga? <laughs> um, you know, I, you know, the reason for us to be to be able to make these investments is you know not really to disclose information. So. To the so extent, you, you refuse to disclose information, <laughs> right? Yeah. Any other big investors coming? Well, I hope so. And yeah. you will be... Uh, Second or third to know. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, thanks very much. Thank you.